hello how are we doing welcome welcome i just sent uh uh oh hold on hold on hold on hold on uh blizzy hello metal priest hello uh i did say cat moon hello <laughs> Hello me, uh, Rin Chan, hello, boob evening breasties, nice, nice, I like it. Uh, Pascal, hello, hello, how you doing? Hope you've been keeping well. Uh, thank you Rin Chan for the kiss. Uh, Kat, the court finds you guilty on account of adorableness. No you, no you, you're adorable. Uh, hello everyone, how are we all today? I have had a long and busy day, so I'm a little bit wired. <laughs> uh, but, but we will, uh, try our best. Metal Priest! Oh my god, thank you so much for the reserve. You are on a seven month streak, that means you get seven kisses. What have you put? Uh, there once was a girl from the UK, who's actually slime, they say. A heart made of gold, the hand soft to hold, and a voice to brighten the day. Oh, thank you, Metal Priest. I appreciate that. And also, I love the nursery rhyme-esque-ness to it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, seven kisses for you, Metal Priest. <gasps> mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you, thank you. I think that was seven. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a bit wired today because I was up early for a long work thing and yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, Nerd Like TV intro music was fire. <laughs> the intro music was made by Nerd Like TV. So uh, go, go, go pat his head. I don't know. I don't know. Cat, <laughs> uh, the argument, uh, argument? I can't talk. I cannot talk today. The argument, no you, does not stand in this court of justice. Uh, 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 yes, I? Does that count? I don't know. Uh, I'm fine. I'm back, uh, for your tail. Don't grab my tail. Don't grab my tail. No sub noise. It may just be very quiet, Mooney. I, I've given up on volume for Twitch alerts. <laughs> um, adorable kitty. Hello, Viking Pichu. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, wait, what? Nerd light! Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. You'll hate this. Uh, for those that don't know, Nerd Light is uh, a close friend of mine and um, I'm about to give them five kisses because they don't understand the system we have here. So here we go. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, Metal Priest, thank you for the kiss. Lizzie, uh, thank you for the glasses and the pet, and oh, you get a kiss. Mwah! Uh, it's 700. Se what? What? 700 what? Can I have a lick if I sub? I'll do my best. I'll do my best, but you don't have to sub. <laughs> uh, thank you for the kiss. Yeah, lick the Mooney. Always lick the Mooney. Uh, shout out to Nerdlight. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh my god, so much is going on. Can't stay. Get, so have some subs. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, take care. <laughs> take care, nerd light. Um, enjoy those kisses. Uh, always grab the tail. Never grab the tail. Cat, where's my kiss? Mwah! There you go. All the licks. Uh, oh no, that's a tail, not a tongue. <laughs> Uh-oh. Lick Mooney. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> 150G Zucker, okay. thank you so much for the pets. Oh my god, so much, so much going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we need to calm it down a bit. Calm it down a bit. I'm just about keeping up. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea. Um, and, and, and then we get going. I, I've gotta stop holding my hand in front of my camera because then my, my, my face just goes into resting bitch face. Rin, hello, hello, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, hope you're having a lovely day. Um, thank you for the wellness combo. Let's do a stretch. Ah, and another stretch. Ah, and a sippy. 
Uh, I'm not an ass kisser. I prefer to lick the booty instead. Oh, <laughs> nice, oh, nice. Um, rest in cat face. Cock, please. Cock, please. Thank you, Pascal. Uh, uh, quote, ass kisser. I do and I don't like that I can go into little holes. Fitting. Damn, I want to lick cat too, but I have no emote. Oh, no. Um, Oyster Catcher. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. And how are you, Cat Moon? I am good. I am tired. I'm a little bit wired, but I am good. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you're doing do well. It. Do it. Uh... <laughs> Quote booty liquor, submissive but not breedable. Oh, is that what I said? I thought it said boobies. <laughs> uh, no, that was uh, cock, please. Cock, please. Cat liquor moat added to the cupboard soon list. Yeah, we're, we're added to the list. <laughs> we, it's, it's about time we got a cat lick uh, emote. Um, Pascal, thank you so much for the sub. Big old kiss. F oh no, you wanted a lick, did you? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Modern youth with their submissive and breedable should spend more time on their schoolwork. It's supposed to be submitted and readable. <laughs> My tail. Uh, I'm tired and at work working. Working in quotation marks. Uh, well, I hope work goes okay for you. Um, and you'll get to relax soon. How how much longer of work do you have left? Um, I hope it's not too long. Uh, you grabbed my tail. Uh, I got a bag of crisps that turned out to be three times the size I expected. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. What a pleasant treat. Oh, I do like me some crisps. Um, BRB gonna make me a blizzy blend with two spoons of espresso. Oh, you must be a, a tired, a tired one. Um, what's all this? Unlock one emote. Sub, gift, or cheer to unlock. Cheer 100? Wait, I've... You now have to unlock emotes? Or do you still get the hype train emotes? I'm, I'm confused. Uh... It's less walkers and more sprinters at this point. What are sprinters? I've never heard of sprinters. Um, always. <laughs> it's like uh, with the Hulk. Um, I'm always angry. I'm always tired. Uh, Kat, were you able to play Pokemon? I was. I was. Thank you. Um, I have caught myself a moon slime. It is a fire moon slime. And I'm in the... the, the um, I just got to the first city? Town? Viridian City? Is that it? Uh, and I've been grinding a little bit. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. It was quite funny to see a moon slime going up against a Pidgey. Uh, I was joking about the size of this walker's bag. Oh. Now I'm sad. <laughs> uh... Wiggle but Frecklin, hello, hello, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh Crow, I'll come in your ear. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh what <laughs> uh I'll make a fake brand called Sprinters just for you. I just got it! I just got it! Walkers, sprinters. Ha! <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I would love to eat some sprinters. Comedy! <laughs> uh, I don't, somewhere between an hour to seven hours. Oh no! Well, I hope it feels like it goes quick. And um, it's an easy day for you. Time for me to go back to therapy from reading that quote. I also think... I should go to therapy for saying that quote. Uh, which plot did you try in Heartbreaker, by the way? I've only just got to, like, the beginning bit. Um. Uh, because it was quite late in the day. But I've, I've, I'm excited. I'm, I'm braced for it. I, I saw the bit with the, the paperclip and I was just like, this is amazing. Uh, if you approve, I'll let chat know what I did with Pokemon. I approve. I approve. But I, I'm liking Heartbreaker so far, uh, Ren. It looks really good. 
the opening gave me such strong Streets of Rage vibes because um, of like the, the city in the background sort of thing. I loved it. Thank you, it's been a labor of love. That's what I was going for. Excellent, excellent. I was like one of the first games I ever played uh, when I was younger, so that, that hit home for me. Right. It hasn't for the first seven hours. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I'm sending a big hug your way to get you through this day. Uh, same used to play with my dad. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, right, right, right. Tea is finished. Um, okay, I'm all ready to go. I'm ready to go for this goat, mama. You mine last son this month. Is this code? Do I need to decipher this message? Um... We never beat it though, we got to penultimate uh, level I lost. Yeah, I don't think I ever beat it. Meow, Neo! Hello, Neo, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, we got such a cool hype trainer, mate. That's awesome. Choo choo. Uh, hope you're having a lovely day, Neo. Mooney, can you please give Neo a shout out? Uh, Neo is my sister from another litter. Uh, meaning we're both uh, cat girls that share a brain cell. Uh, I made a ROM hack of Pokemon Red for Cat featuring her as a playable Pokemon. First version is done now. Yes, and it looks very good. Peep, 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 poop, poop. What? <laughs> uh, choo choo. It means I'm broke. Oh, okay, okay. Well, don't, don't spend money on subs if you've got no money. Stop it. Uh, worn out for stream. Go rest, Neo. Go rest. How is uh, Black Myth? Is it good? I've seen a few things about it, but uh, yeah. Not sure if I, I'm, I'm as on the train to play it yet. Uh, Neo's a brain cell right now. Sounds about right. Biggest lie ever. <laughs> I keep meaning to try Still Rising. I bought it after going through your Dark Souls vods and never found the time. Still Rising? What's that? I've not heard of that one. No food. No, go get your food. Always get the food. When it runs, it's good. Oh, is it, it like, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, intensive, like on the old uh, technology front. But the, n none of those were the words I was looking for. CPU heavy. Yes, that's, that's what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to do it there. Not at the moment, because I've pretty much filled up my PC because my external hard drive's died, or is dying, so I've had to do a quick emergency backup. And now I've got no room. Um, Steel Risings are Souls-like in a steampunk version of the French Revolution. I think I put it in your suggestions channel a couple of times. Ooh, I, I do need to go through that suggested um, thing, uh, channel, because uh, I've seen a couple on there that I want to try. Blessed Heretic, thank you for the pet. Hope you're doing well, having a good day. I need to get a 4070 super. Damn. Look at all those tails. Look at the tails. Lizzie Blend really hits the spot. Uh, that is a cute tail. Uh, I have tails but no food. Sell the, sell, sell the tails, not sale. Sell, sell the tails. <sighs> For food. That's that's what I want to say. Lamiatel. Ooh, nice, nice. Right, go, Mama. We need to get started. Roxanne has been waiting for us uh, for a very long time, I think. Maybe. Not quite sure. Ah, uh, okay. Audio may be loud, but we will have to see um, how it goes. Ah, uh, there she is. There's our love. Uh, oh, man, Cats is the only one that's backwards. We fucked up, Mooney. We fucked up. Only have 17 tails IRL. Nice. But Fola Cabra mode engaged. Slowpoke tail, it's edible. Yes. Yes. Don't do that. I like slowpokes, but yes. Go, mummy! Right. How is sounds? 
That was all okay. I can't actually hear anything, so something's not quite working. Why are you not working? Uh, it means goat fucker. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna exit out and I'll start again. Uh, tail plugs. There are multiple backwards. We hear it. Oh, you heard it. Why didn't I hear it? Usually it's the other way around. Usually I hear it and you don't hear it. What's going on? Oh, now I hear it. Dread XP. Positively spooky. Okay, are you guys hearing it? Oh my god. Is this loud? Nope. Cat, the other day I saw a short comic about Slowpoke Waifu. Nice. Nope, I just hear it. It's fine. Okay. Just loud for me then. <laughs> Uh, if you can all hear it, then that is fine. I am ready to go. I love this music. Uh, the slowpoke got plapped and only felt it a year later. <laughs> oh god. Doesn't mean like me. My reaction times are really slow. Ah, okay, so we got the true end on this one, but we didn't get this end. So I think what we have to do is not give the keepsakes, maybe? Uh, Slowpoke is one of your spirit poke ones. That and Snorlax, definitely. Um. Oh yeah, that's chapter 1000. Yeah, that's that one. So, we've done all these except the bad ending for this one. Uh, which I'll do now. And then uh, we've got that one to do. So we'll get this finished today. Hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, Christ, 150 grams of Chris. Are they still left a third of the bag of as just there? That doesn't surprise me. Apparently it's to keep freshness in or something like that. But I just call bullshit on it, to be honest with you. Uh, a true cat team would have Slowpoke, Slowbro, Snorlax and Gengar. What else? Uh, what's my other favourite Pokemon? Ch Charmander or... I've become really fond of Lechonk. <laughs> Slowking and Ditto. <laughs> I do love how they think sharing bags are totally gonna just be eaten by one person. Oh, I mean, you get just enough for one person in those sharing bags, so... Yeah. Sucker for love. It is no fair. Right, that, that, that's the first one. That's the second one. I know, there's always so Moorish. Alolan and Persian with the chubby cheek. They are quite cute. They are quite cute. I think it's because if the Chris were tightly packed, they would be crushed easier. It might also just be marketing, though. It, it may be marketing. Marketing ruins everything. Okay, we start here. Just use thicker bags. That's not a bad shout. You're doing so well despite the circumstances. Hi, Roxanne. I'm you. Okay, so we done all this. So I think for this one, rather than um get rid of all the people, we just make our way down and literally just set the place on fire. Um, she's so pretty! She is. Look at her in that t-shirt. I'm, uh, thank you Pascal for throwing things at me. I'm not even interned yet, I've got the police song in my head. <laughs> for decades the bags were very well filled and for, and no one gave a damn about some crushed chips. 100% marketing. I don't think it's there. I'm pretty sure it's a blend of stuff to keep the crisps from going stale. Always in the mood. I want that t-shirt. If they ever sell that t-shirt as much, I'm going to have it. Um, hot dog poisoning. Meow to you too. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. So I've got an itchy eye. 
That's why I was winking at you. Um, quote, Cat Horny. I was told if you give a blowjob, you burn a lot of calories. Cat displaying her naivety. Well, it's worked so far. Uh, imagine <laughs> experimenting with gases and quiz bags, like filling it with argon or neon. Oh. Right. Um, I've just got to go to the heart of the woods and face the heart. Okay. I can do that. Right. I don't like this slow turning that was going on then. You have to be careful about enemies. Oh! oh. Uh, that's not with BJ's, it's with long, intensive sessions. Uh, from a blizzy blend to a crispy blend. Thank you, hot dog poisoning. Right, where am I going? Am I safe? I don't actually know if we do have anyone back. Uh, a tickle torture session burns calories. No tickles! Uh, okay, I need to go further back into the story. Uh, okay. Oh, no, we've also done it there, okay. Oh, unless... Unless it's always going to tell me. Maybe? Um... I don't think there's anyone left. Uh, there are similar shirts posted, want to check it out. Thank you, Mana Priest. Hello there, Moon! How are you there? Ayo, hey, what kind of game is this? Um... Firstly, Ken, hello. Hope you're doing well. Uh, looking after yourself. Secondly, um, this is Sucker for Love. It's a dating sim of Eldritch Horrors. Um, and uh, scariness, basically. Uh, no cat, don't need to go for about so stuff given away was part of the progression. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to actually go to the main menu. Uh, mmm, dating sims. Can we have a goat mummy to date? Uh, this is goat mummy. I expected more smooching in this game and it's been more scary. So, um... Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I've lost po the uh, count at this point how much I've actually wanted, um... Uh, a date. date to die for. Who are the other watchers? Just Roxanne so far. Just Roxanne. In this one, anyway. Uh, it given the stuff where we would lock you out that ended, it would be linked to a low point from before. You can give away the items. Right. Okay. For some reason I thought they were like free. That is in Sucker for Love 1. In Sucker for Love 2, there's just this, this, this one. Possibly, maybe. It could be more. All right. If that's the case, then I'm just gonna go straight to this one, and then maybe we we'll do clean up. I don't want to fuck this one up, considering I just got the true ending uh, by accident. So yeah, we'll just go straight to this. Um. Oh, disappointing. Uh, are we still on st stay? Uh, no, we finished stray. We finished that on Monday. Uh, Lorca, hello, hello, how you doing? Thank you for turning me into my original slime form. This is me, when I'm not being cat girl. This is me. Uh, uh, says played Stray. Oh, yeah, I forgot to change that. <laughs> I'll change it now. <laughs> so I my love date to die for. Um... Okay, I'm not the other one. No, that was my fault. Uh, yes, this is me when I'm in my relapse mode. 
You'll see me at home sat in a chair just looking like this. Uh, Google what the other options are where my recent searches came up as sucker for love feet and sucker for love Billy. Uh, we saw Billy. Billy's this one. Feet. I have no idea what that's about. Uh, oh wait, not a command here. It's not a command. You can't call people stinky here. Uh, right. Now, I have a feeling this is going to be the spooky scary one, so... I'm scared. Please hold my hand. Uh, looking up if there's any eye candy. Look for, look for Sucker for Love 1. That will show you. Okay. Uh-oh. Hey, they've crossed out the TV screen thing. Thank you for the hug, Blizzy. There's, oh, this is all a TV show, by the way. We're awake again. Here we are. Uh, once again, this is us. We are Stardust. Uh, Lorca, thank you for the pets. Something is very wrong. Did I doze off while reading? My daydreaming always turns into regular dreaming when I do. Is this what I was reading? I've got to get home. I'm sorry for falling asleep in your store, but I've got to get... Uh, book lady? Someone hung themselves right next to me while I was sleeping. Oh, shit. Um. Is that Mew? Did Buck get to her? I feel sick. So, so sick. Oh, floor slips under my feet and I fall back hard, loudly knocking books to the ground. I assume they're books. I can't see anything. Everything goes black. What an awful dream. Hey, hey! No. Wake up, you! Mew? Is, is that you? <laughs> oh my gosh, did I break the human? Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> it's kind of cute. Are you an alien? Uh. <clears throat> my aloof and distant nature and fall in love with me ironically okay an alien is playing with a corpse in front of me an alien is playing with a corpse in front of me this can't be real i must be dreaming still uh thank you mooney for the glasses it's not a dead body promise it's just a doll i use to interact with humans sorry to scare you just hanging it up to dry, see? What? Okay. Also, hey, I'm not an alien. Shoggoths are from Earth too, you know. Shoggoths. 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 <laughs> One or the other. Shoggoths, huh? Plural? There's more of you just walking around on Earth? We live where all the undiscovered nightmare fuel hangs out. Bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Not my fault you guys went to space before 100 percenting your own planet. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, Suckoffs, Cybergoths think they're so unique, they got nothing on Shogoths. <laughs> We're like 100 miles from the ocean. What are you even doing all the way in the countryside? Well, one day, I grew tired of the darkness beneath the waves. And upon Tentacle and Maw, I skulked upon your shores. For one reason. What was that one reason? You can't write smut underwater. Oh, she's writing fan fiction. Writing fan fiction. Um. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. You cannot write smut underwater. What a trivial reason. You know, I think that I would have heard on the news about giant tentacle monsters roaming through the country. No, you wouldn't have, and that's propaganda. Um, uh, Esther in uh, Sucker for Love 1 has a human form. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you think so, but Esther's the uh, yellow I prince. Yeah, I remember. Uh, you'd think so, but I am a master of disguise and an expert in human linguistics. This is quite cute. 
It's quite cute. But I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'll take Lenella Princess, but yes. No, no, no! She's the Yellow Prince. She even calls herself the Yellow Prince. Uh, she's a bit Sundari. <laughs> uh, and Roxanne. I'll take her too. What? I'm telling you, she calls herself the Yellow Prince. Lenella is Bay. I've studied your culture extensively from the water, and I've mastered every language and can speak them in any accent. Check out my cowboy voice. <laughs> Howdy, partner. I'm not gonna lie, I've got a bit of a thing for Mew. They're quite cute. Um. Oh, okay. Hold on. I I need to I need to go back. Me. I'm not going back to me. Ah, breaking fourth wall. Breaking fourth wall. Breaking fourth wall. There we go. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, how many holes do you think it has? All the holes. Many holes. I feel like Lynetta would forgive me for being in a relationship with both her and Roxanne. But don't forget, they are all related because they're all nieces of uh, Auntie Nyanya. Whoa, it's like you're a real cowboy. Thank you, thank you. Though, to be honest, I only learned to read, speak, and write your languages so I could read your human books. They're far superior to cosmic scriptures. Don't get me started on the localizations. I won't get you started on localizations. Uh, I know. So you're saying Wincest is on the table? On the table. <laughs> that seems like a lot of effort. My complex motives are far beyond mortal comprehension. I like Mew, she's cute. Um Yeah, Mew is cute. Mew is very cute. I thumb idly along the spines of books written in English. They have suggestive titles. You learned every human language just so you could consume all of our smut? I would do the same. I would do the same. Um, but Ratsan is an essay, so she wouldn't mind it as much. Uh, the inner uh, ma machi ma machinations of my mind are an enigma. I like Kat. She's cute. Hmm, I like Neo. She's cute. Um, the lusty Argonian maid. <laughs> I want to read that one day. Oof, decided to do a workout just now, and now I'm exhausted. Go rest, Metal Priest. Go rest. Mac, Mac, Mac in Asians. Mac, 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 Mac in Asians. Machine Asians. Uh, yeah. I like both British Neckos. They're cute. British Neckos are cute, and I'm not biased at all. Uh, machine Gun, yes. Mm. Machinations. Ma ma mac machinations. What is wrong with me today? Would you guys believe that I am a professional adult? <laughs> when I walk into the office, I am clever. <laughs> um, oh my god, it's like being in my own stream where Blizzy breaks words for me. <laughs> um, Hey Neko, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a lovely day. You are adorable. No, you! By the way, Cat, I can make Machine Drummond and Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Just need to get a certain Pokemon. What Pokemon <gasps> do you need? It's been a while. It has. I hope you've been looking after yourself. Uh, no, you. No, you. Imagine being an adult. Um, I know, right? <laughs> I just, I always need an, an adultier adult to get me through life. Um, it's because you butcher practically every word you read. Uh, hello everyone and good evening lo loveliest kitty cat. Hope you had a lovely day, love you. Hello Kitsune, hope you had a lovely day, love you too. Hope you're looking after yourself and thank you for the hug. I need a Tyrantrum, which is a T-Rex. She's bra 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 practically. <sighs> She's practically an expert in adultery. Wait, no. The other part for it is a clink lang, which I already caught. Oh, okay, okay. That'd be very cool if you can make a machine drum. I have a Tyranitrum in my main team in Shield. 
I don't know why, but I thought you said you were going to say in your fish tank or something. But we were very confused. Uh, Mew, back to Mew. Maybe they weren't as complex as I thought. Mew reads our smut. You also make lifelike human models and learn every language that humans speak. I, I, I have a thing for humans, okay? She has a thing for us! I have kept a lot of fish in my life. So grab a dino and turn it to machine, suddenly it's a machine drawn. That makes sense. That does make sense. Um, she's a reverse human. Reverse fu f f f f f f Reverse furry. Fuck. <laughs> Kitsune, thank you for the kiss. Thank you, thank you. Looking around the store, a lot of these books are eldritch curios and lore, but some of these books. Big Slippery Shogoth Girlfriends Volume 2. My Little Knight Gaunt can't be this. Uh, deep Ones. <laughs> They're explicit stories about love between humans and eldritch entities. I didn't know these kind of books even existed. Did she make all these? Where can I find this bookshop? Uh, quote, reverse furry. Uh, Mooney, that didn't work. Oh, speaking of incest, quote, deep ones. Dragon is not only its way. Uh, I need to f find this bookstore. Oh my god, I'm gonna cough. Oh god, what happened there? I just could feel like a cough crawling up my throat. Um, at least this time she didn't sneeze. <laughs> love you, love you too. I haven't sneezed today, so hold your breath. I might end up sneezing. Don't hold your breath, because I'll forget to tell you to not hold your breath. Uh, and aren't you the one who's been writing my ultra dangerous reality bending ritual books? Nah. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mainly just write smutty dungeons and such. Uh, you may meet for them, but I still heard it, Cat. Are you okay? That was the cough of a 90-year-old. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I've done a lot of talking today, and I think it's catching up to me. Uh, holding. Don't hold. Uh, quote, hasn't sneezed today. I just squirted myself in the face. That sounds about right. Uh, I like the effect on the voice. It's very cute. Very cute. Uh, well, does Combo keep that whistle wet? I will keep the whistle wet. Don't you worry. Uh, quote smutty. I've already done myself. <laughs> uh, that quote isn't accredited. Oh, Mooney made a mistake. Uh, I incidentally I learned how to vibrato yesterday. You learned how to vibrate. Uh, yes, cat is always very cute. No you, no you. Uh, mainly I just write smutty dojins and such. Sorry, I'm just having trouble wrapping my mind around that. It seemed like two completely dissonant skills. Uh, it's okay, we all know who would squirt themselves in the face. I mean, I've done it before. Uh, vibrato is when you do a vibration in your voice. It's a singing thing mainly. No, I'm always a very sexy rat with a dad bod. I like me a dad bod, so don't worry. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, I don't sing properly or well, so I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those two hobbies are completely unrelated. I like that she keeps doing her tentacles and like a heart. That's very cute. Uh, David Duet is what did learn how. Good, good. Learning is fun. I raise an inquisitive eyebrow. Wait a minute. What? So... You make smut books fantasizing about humans and eldritch gods meeting, and then also make spell books that would allow humans and eldritch gods to meet in real life? Wait, I know what it sounds like, but I can explain. Cat! Uh. Mooney, you want a kiss? Impromptu smash or pass? Wait, so you don't want a kiss? Okay. What's your smash or pass? Oh no, should I be nervous? Never. I was gonna say, that'd be very strange. Um, smash or pass Mew? Smash... Seven. Smash seven. I think they're very cute. 
They got tentacles. But I don't like these spikes. The spikes I feel like will hurt. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I'll go for it. Her hood reminds me of Fantasy Degree, the manga where the first chapter gave me my taste in girls with hoods and or masks. To this day, I still make a point to always marry one of the hooded guild women in every Fable playthrough. Makes sense, makes sense. I also want to smash uh, Muse. Raven in T Titans helped. That also makes sense. Now I also want to do a special pass. Uh, go ahead. I've got nothing. I'm a disaster for human Eldritch love. Me too, Mew. Me too. Uh, you indirectly summoned reality ending gods to our realm just so you could watch them date humans? I'd say I pretty directly summoned them, actually. Yeah. Also, why the heck did you make the ritual so freaking scary? Uh, was also always more of a Starfire and Jinx fan, but I like Raven too. I think a lot of people liked Raven. <laughs> uh, but Kat just said, go ahead. Did you play Skyrim? If so, did you marry? If so, who? I married, um, the first time I played, who did I marry? It was a man. I think it was just like your house car you get if you're in Markov. Uh, I married him. And then the second time I played, I married Ufgood. I need me a big, strong lady in my life. They're rituals for an outer god. They're all scary. All the time. They are very scary, all the rituals. But if she's supposed to be helping me, why'd you put the most important ritual at the very end? What? The uprooting ritual? Uh, noise. Eldritch rituals are serious business. Doing them out of order could cause who knows what. Chaos, I can imagine. And it's not like I've been asleep at the wheel here. I've been changing the books each time I find a potentially quicker, safer path to uprooting. Oh, okay, okay. Do you get to the Cloud District often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Fuck you, Nazim! Uh, I missed my one save file while I was a warrior woman. Also, when I had to reinstall it and all my mods weren't kaput. Hello there. Uh, I played as a single mother who fell for almost every woman that crossed her path. <laughs> um, hey, Demon Lord! How you doing? Welcome, welcome! Hope you had a lovely day! Uh, play too often to remember everyone, but I will never forget the first one. It was Yasolda, the trader from White Run. She was cute. She was cute. Uh, but there's only so many options <laughs> when humans outright can't produce some sounds needed for many incantations. I had a file where I was an Argonian rogue. I deliberately shrank by 10% and called the same file the lily, the liliest Argonian. Ah, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I love it. I haven't had a problem so far. Say Worcestershire sauce. How does she just say it? Oh, I, I missed that. It's Worcestershire sauce, not Worcester sauce. <sighs> I love Americans trying to pronounce that. It's Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> not Worcester. I am. I am a bugbear about this from the last game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm amazed you say it right. I know, I know some people from um, Worcester, so uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's it's not too difficult. If anything, Americans make it um, harder on themselves. Uh, I've slept nearly all day and I'm still tired. Oh no! I hope you're okay and not poorly. It may may just be your body telling you you needed sleep. Uh, watching work as well. Okay, you made your point. How are you? I am good, thank you, I'm good. I had a busy day at work, so I'm very tired. Uh, but other than that, I'm good. Just tell them straight, it's Worcestershire. Uh, random thought. If you do the deed with a werewolf during full moon, does it count as bestiality? No, is what I'm gonna say. Um... Uh, oh, hold on, what did I miss? Uh, 
Can you help with pronunciation? How do you say Gloucester and Leicester? Gloucester and Leicester. Or Gloucestershire and Leicestershire. You got the gl and the less. <laughs> I hope that helped. <laughs> All I was trying to say is that it's a cryptographic marvel that you can consistently perform these rituals and that I'm a genius. That's all I'm really trying to say. You are a genius, Mew. Uh, thank you. I memorized it only slightly wrong then. Uh, less gloss. That is better. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, yeah, my family live like within those areas, so I've grown up being able to pronounce them. Uh, so yeah, here for all your needs. Uh, thank you for the hug, Demon Lord. Oh, is that all? Besides, Roxy loves the rituals. She's a god, she likes rituals. And the scarier they are, the faster you fall in love. When can I fall in love with you? That's not how that works at all. It totally worked. Roxy likes you. Like, she likes you, likes you. Oh, oh damn! Bad. Oh, damn! Uh, I knew your accent was that general sort of area. Yeah, it's where um, a lot of my family are from. It's where my friends are from. And I sort of like moved around that area. I, I never really left it. Um, She's got a bed. She does have a bed. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I'm writing fanfics of the two of you right now. This stuff is hot. Nice, nice. Let's see. Cats. Pining. Slow burn, one-sided. Wait, what do you mean one-sided? You got a bad, got a bad, got a bad, she's hot for a player. <laughs> not one-sided. It's not? Wait, I mean, well, she's really gorgeous and... I ship it. <laughs> I love you, I love you so much. Wait, no. Nice difference, age difference, mommy, monster girl. Wait, is Roxy a monster girl or a furry? Well, Adam Ball can let the algorithm work, it's magic. Yeah! Uh, don't tell Twitter. <laughs> Roxanne Stardust. No, oh my god! Your ship name is Rockstar! Yeah! Or Starzan! Yeah! <laughs> I love her. Uh, don't tell Twitter. I would make Roxanne bleat all night long. Nice. Rockstar. Hey, I hate to kill the fun, but. A lot of people got really hurt because you made this book, including me. It was never supposed to be like this. I thought only good things could come from summoning Roxy to your world. She just wants Earth to be one big happy family. And she's a wonderful mother. She's a MILF? Nice. And she's kind. She's the only one who didn't laugh me out of Astrid's court when I suggested that humans and Eldritch entities belong together. In fact, she agreed with me. Aww, that's cute. We made the book together. An all-in-one ritual book full of spells that would make the perfect date. Plus an abort button. The uprooting ritual. In oh, literally an abort button, okay. From Roxy. Uh, she had no bias whatsoever. We picked the perfect human together, too. A young, handsome human man who had already spent so much time and money fruitlessly trying to contact Roxanne on his own. <gasps> Wait. This isn't the dude from the first game, is it? Because he spent a lot of time and money trying to contact Lynetta. He flew through the rituals, started a huge family in her worship, and grew the thousand to such a size that the whole world was under Roxanne's influence. It may just be coincidence, but still. They never really clicked like I had hoped, but he had his god, and Roxanne had her family. They were so, so happy and carefree. But you should never be carefree when dealing with cosmic forces beyond reckoning. Yeah, that makes sense. At some point, Buck decided to steal a smooch outside of Black Ceremony completely out of order and without consulting the ritual book first. Always get consent. They don't tell you this stuff in school. They Instead don't. Instead of causing some obscure ritual to fail disastrously, something far worse happened. He accidentally performed a certain ritual perfectly by pure bad luck. 
the kiss of immortality ritual. It was sealed with the smooch he stole. Oh shit. He tried everything to reverse his immortality. When nothing worked, he changed. So many people, so many humans that Roxanne considered her children. Uh, if it's cat, my consent is always available. That's really good to know. Thank you, Blizzy. Reverse an immortality, ungrateful sod. All these realities later, he's still tormenting her. I don't know if it's revenge or if he's got some other plan in mind, but he's never going away. What a big fat screw up this was. If Roxy, if all the gods can't find happiness with a human, there's no hope for any of us cosmic entities. Between you and me, Roxy is the hottest one in the family by far. Uh, yeah, I see it. I see it. Uh, well, they did teach us consent. They did, in fact, teach us a variety of vats aside from vanilla and missionary. Wait, you learned that at school? Damn. Where did you go to school? So, that's why I'm trusting you with my books. I hope it's not too weird to say, but... I think after seeing you time and time again... That I should have given you the book to begin with. Aww. Well, I'm glad the book eventually found its way to me. It's like a pass baton. Every leg of the sprint leading up to me was significant and worthwhile. Indeed, I did school in Berlin. Damn. Uh, see, if you go to a British school, they're a lot more uptight and don't want to talk about anything. So, <laughs> we did learn that. Uh, and if I gotta pass it on again, I think I'm okay with that. But you also think I'd really like to be the one that gets to cross the finish line. The one who gets to show Roxy how far we ran together. Okay, that's it. You two are too perfect. Sorry, Roxy, you're gonna kill me for this. But you can't expect me to sit through a thousand episodes of Stardust dying before you can admit how you feel. Oh, shit. Here you go, you crazy kid. It's the kiss of immortality ritual. Do us all a favor and end up together already. Oh shit! Yeah. Wait, that's the same ritual that Buck did. Uh, I didn't even know my school was a performing arts school until the last couple of years. I only went there because my first crush picked it. Oh, that's cute. Uh, becoming permanent. This means I'll never die, no matter what. Even when reality ends again, will I end up like Buck? Holding the sinister page fills me with a palpable dread. This ritual is what started all of this. It's what caused Buck to go mad. It's what turned the thousand against Roxanne. It's what made every reality a nightmare. It's what caused me to suffer and perish countless times. But it's also what brought me to Roxanne. I think this is it. I think it's the key to ending all of this for good. It's how I can stop Buck and the nightmares. Oh? Fighting fire with fire? Yes. Uh, I like Mew. She's got, she has that go-getter attitude. Super sexy. <laughs> Not exactly. Once I cast this, my fate will be the same as Buck's. There's no take-backs. But I have the heart to live with what I'm given. No take-backs needed. I'm ready to set what great highs and lows eternity has in store for me. You give love, it comes back. If I embrace eternity, eternity will embrace me. Alright, now I'm really pumped. No more bat baton passing. I'm going. Are you coming too? No way, Jose! Buck's scary looking! Aww. Uh, is that in the right attitude? Yes. Uh, um... Yeah, yeah, I know that I'm scary too. But I can't just run into the unknown like humans can. Shoggoths aren't brave like you are. I'm the only one that even left the sea for crying out loud. But it was to write smut. That's a good reason. Don't worry, you don't have to come. I have your book. That's all I've needed so far. That's all I need now. Go get him, Stardust! Yeah! No sign of anybody. Oh shit. Flower there. Um. Something's happened to the sky. Uh, I like them loud and positive. <laughs> this could be the end of my life as a model, couldn't it? All in all, I have to say it's been a blast. Whatever's ahead, I know there'll be something to love. God. Okay. Beautiful, a beautifully morbid looking flower. This must be a rock blue. Okay. 
Uh, Sky reminds me of Pacific Free. What's that in the corner? Oh, butterfly. Butterfly caught in a web. Strange, don't see a spider around. Wonder how long the poor thing's been trapped. Oh god, don't like it when it does that. Love! Okay. Uh, this, that, uh, 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 I mean that also fits cat quite a bit. What fits me? I just went on mortality so I could create all the art and games I ever want to. Nice. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Hello? Sensitivity on my mouse. Loud, positive, and a bit of a go-getter attitude. I like that loud is the first thing, but thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Hello. Oh. It's a pretty sky. It's too quiet. I don't like it. Oh. Oh, the door's back. That's good. Hello? I've got the spray bottle. Uh, yes, yeah, so immortality. Uh, oh. This such of the book has been compiled from the deaths of your past lives in order to ensure your current incarnation survives as long as possible. Your suffering in this place has earned you this advantage. So here to the instructions precisely. Oh no! This is gonna be like the Auntie Nyan Nyan level. Jet windows frequently. All sound has been stolen panic loudly. Loud noises are your only salvation. Keep a running clock in your head. At least once every 15 seconds, create a loud noise. It does not matter what it is, only that is loud. Do not do this for a full minute. The hush hungers for your silence. Starve it. Um, you better get a smooch after this. I know. Summon Ultra Predator. Oh no. Got so many. Second floor balcony is your only sanctuary. Is the only room you've never died in. Be warned that maybe stragglers. Oh my god. I'm so gonna die so many times. Okay, I hate this. Upon seeing it, you'll be compelled to scream yourself to death. It does not appear to be hostile, but you've died many times because of it all the same. Hear the loud cry of a baby, flee to the heart of the woods. Do not emerge until the candles blow out on their own. Be observant. Oh, I don't want to do this. Um, the one case where I don't think it's unreasonable to think, bitch, better put out after all this work. Ultra Predator, everything is a fleshlight if you're brave enough. Okay. Summon the old mother. Uh, summon Roxanne. Dial study lit candles. Make sure there's a goat. Have the mister and chant the map. the thing. Roxanne! Sorry it took me a while to start dreaming this time. I was too anxious to fall asleep. Uh, oh man, I hate monsters that resemble babies. Yeah, these ones aren't fun. Oh look! I'm, I'm at smooch level. So, this is it. Buck is the only remaining member of the Thousand. Yep. Are you ready for what's to come? Can it be us? It's only hearing me just now that this kiss of immortality thing isn't kind of like asking me to marry her. Promising to be with her forever, still with a kiss, no take backs. 
Holding this book feels like fumbling with an engagement ring in my pocket. Uh, don't want to do this. We got this fast. So suck it up, buttercup. I want more sexy, less scary. Stardust, are you all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Um. Ah, uh -huh, you don't even know. The butterflies in my stomach are building to the point of unbearability. Just as I'm about to swallow them down, a breeze blows into my room, carrying a foul stench that fills my lungs. I fall over, retching. My eyes sting and water uncontrollably, uh, and I have to actively fight the urge to hurl. Um. How's your day been, Kat? It's been good, thank you. I did a lot of uh, work stuff and I was up early before work stuff and I've done a lot of talking so I am tired uh, but other than that I am good. Mew agrees with you. Agrees with me on what? What is that smell? Did something die? No. Something didn't. Ah fuck. More sexy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's here. Sense him. You've got the book? I do have the book. Got it. Now or never. I prop myself up on one knee and open the book to the kiss of immortality ritual, revealing it to her. Kneeling? <laughs> you don't have to kneel to me for my ritual. Oh shit! Where did you get that? No! I thought I had something to say planned, but my mind is completely blank with nerves. Say something, anything. Roxy, I I only exist because you dream about me. Without you, there'd be no me. And when I look back on my life and all the things that I got to see and do, it take me forever to say thank you. So I will. Uh, I really hope the series goes on and we get more of the spicy stuff. Me too, me too. Moo says the goat. <laughs> box inside the house. I've got to get going. Think about it, okay? I'm going to get started on it. I won't finish it if you don't say yes, okay? Okay. Finally, here we go. One versus one. I've got only one ritual to get through. Let's do this. Start Kissable Immortality. <laughs> this is going to get spooky. To perform a kiss of immortality, simply kiss Roxanne Selva Oscura in the presence of a greater rock bloom. If there is no greater rock bloom present, stand in a room with Roxanne and at least 1,000 rock bloom flowers. Draw this symbol. Flower will bloom within seven minutes. Eternal life awaits you. Make the most of it. Okay. I presume this is the right room. Oh. She's not here. If I'll go where there's a thousand rock blooms. Oh. So, I mean, I would say the hallway. I gotta be with Rotsan. I'm so confused. I've realised that the giant fan in my room is perfect for quick dry clothes on. Not. A pale flower is beautiful beyond belief. That's not what we need. I need to go back in the room. Okay, I can't go in there. I'll try it in here. I don't know where she's gone. Survive. Oh my god, I've got to survive seven minutes. Okay. I hear a loud buzzing. Check windows frequently. I don't know what to do. Found us with stolen panic. Just stay in here. I'm gonna stay in here. 
Oh, fuck. What's the fly one? Uh, okay, I'm gonna move. I <laughs> don't want to stay in here. Close the game. Um, flies are not full of fur. What's this one? Uh, uh, seek high ground. Okay. ground. Okay. Oh. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh. I'm back here. Okay. Where am I? So confused. Hello? Hello? I don't know what... What's that noise? What's that noise? What's happening? What's happening? I don't know what's happening! I, I can't tell which one this is! Ah. What is this one? I don't understand! What's going on? Those like either babies or crows. I just don't know what was like happening to the screen. Oh, oh it's the flies! Not the flies! Get away from the flies! Uh, no worries, Demon Lord. You, you can look. I hope you enjoy. Fall asleep if you need to. Don't feel like you have to stay. Oh God. I have no idea where I'm going. Why are the flies getting bigger? Flies are down. No. Oh, you bitch. I don't know where I am. I gotta get to higher ground. 
One said I've got to get to the balcony. I'm gonna try this one. I don't I don't know what this one. Oh. Ah! I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Okay, I need, I need to stay calm. I need to stay calm. Okay, what is this one? That's knocking. Every 15 seconds. Okay. This one is get to high ground. I can do that. Okay. Woo. Oh, okay. Find any lit candles to stare directly at that. Okay. I can do that. Undead Grenades, that's the... Oh, yep. Yeah. This is all the Stardusts. I'm not going. I'm not going. Woo. I think I'm okay. I just gotta wait for them to fuck off. Yep, yeah, corpse is collapsing. Okay, good. What's that noise? Oh, that's the crows. What do I need to do for crows? Uh, once you hear flapping on wings, they have stopped circling. It's safe to come out. The event of seeing the uh, immediate fleet of interior without windows open or closed. Uh, so I should be okay in here, right? Okay. Now I'm good to go back out. What was the first ward's one? Uh, flee to the heart of the woods. Oh. Hello? crying uh do not emerge until the candles blot that and be observant Woo! it's gonna let the candles snuff out apparently fuck off babies I've just got 40 seconds. Oh, I hate this so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I don't know what this means. I'm not. I don't dare turn around. I don't dare turn around. I'm like they're trying to break in. I don't dare turn around. Ten seconds, come on, ten seconds. Ah! Ah! 
Three, two, one. <gasps> we did it. All right, the flower should have blue by now. I just need to get back. Was that Roxanne scream? I've got to get back. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, Rooney. All right, we, we got, we, we got to get back. Whoa. Didn't like that, didn't like that one bit. Oh, the butterflies in my stomachs. Oh, God. I want smooches, not scaries. Should have read up on this game before playing it. Rotsan, you okay? Oh, hello. Hey, lovebird. Hey, book. Uh. Uh, this better be worth it. Cat, what have I told you about eating butterflies? I'm sorry, I was hungry. <laughs> what are you doing to her? Scaring her awake. Now that you're here, easier. Dude, you need to lie down. I want to be so angry, but I can't be angrier than I am frustrated and confused. Why? Why would you do this? Tormenting us isn't going to change a thing. Why can't you just face the reality that you're immortal already? The reality is that I'm immortal. I couldn't care less. Has he said that correctly? I think he has. He needs some Vaseline, good dog. If the eternal sleeper wakes up, the end. Immortality or not. Have a Snickers, you're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> I vaguely remember reading something about that amused library once. A god that dreams all the other gods into existence, and by extension, all of their realities. Wait, that means... You're talking about ending everything? Everything, everything? How is Torture and Roxanne supposed to do that? Why are you punishing her? To make her scream loud enough that the sleeper hears it. <gasps> Who's the sleeper? If she doesn't, maybe another god will. Ah. Any god that learns that I exist will start having nightmares too. He looks like the set's pest teacher from Persona 5. Oh! Oh god, what was his name? Oh! And yeah, I can't remember. But yes, I know who you mean. Komashida? Yes, Komashida. Once I'm in their head, it's sheet clutching nightmares forever. I'll never stop. Fuck you, Buck. I only need one screamer. I'll find them eventually. I'm human. The ultimate persistence predator. Alright, Edgelord. <laughs> Fuck you! And you would have gotten away with it, too. If it weren't for this meddling cat. <laughs> Auntie Nyan Nyan! Handsome. Oh. Oh. Hello, Auntie Nyan Nyan. Uh, told you he was a predator. <laughs> Auntie Nyan Nyan? The man with a thousand faces. Threatening to terrorize my very sisters and granddaughters the way you so tortured my niece? <laughs> I respect that. My silly flock of hands could use a good brow leader. Oh, shit. Uh, this better not awaken something to me. It may do, it may do. Auntie Nyan Nyan is angry. He is. Definitely. So he was going to try and mess with the sisters and the granddaughters and the niece and everything. God damn. But trying to speak to the eternal sleeper? Come now. That is the duty of a god, not a human playing pretend. I will articulate to you the difference. Oh shit. Uh, I guess there's nothing she cares about more than family. Made sense, made sense. What a lucky break. I could complete the kiss. Wait a minute. If Auntie Nyan Nyan drags Buck into her dream, she's going to start getting nightmares too. Buck's going to end up in the mind of the god who talks directly to the eternal sleeper. That's exactly what he wants. Yeah. 
Good, he's free. It's now or never. Um, it's fun how human sexuality keeps evolving even after you're an adult. The last few years, I realize I have a thing for hips and lips. Nice, nice. Uh, I sprayed Auntie Nyan Nyan. I've never had a bad dream in my life, but I've had dreams so wonderful that it woke me up right at the best part. If I become immortal, I'll survive through her waking up this time. Roxanne, I don't have the time to say it now, but will when I have forever to say it. Oh! We got the kiss! We got the kiss, finally! Nice! I clapped that effort. She was not wasting time. I, love uh, I was in my furnace before I realised I was bisexual. Life is a never-ending process. Hell yeah. Aww, we love each other. Finally, and it's beautiful. So, you're okay with this? Mm. I guess so. I guess so. Kiss this cat the same way. Thank you, thank you. Mwah! Was that a second kiss of immortality? <laughs> no. Just a regular one. Yeah. Stardust, since I met you, I wondered how I could be so lucky. How you could have appeared so suddenly, like a bright star in the darkest sky. Yeah. I think it's because, despite everything, I never stopped believing in good. That someone like you had to exist somewhere. I wonder exactly what she had. A goat mama in a always in the mood t-shirt? And you did. You are the good that I knew had to exist somewhere in this infinite cosmos. Damn. Stardust. You're the most wonderful thing I could have ever dreamed up. Uh, this has Azriel vibes. A kiss like that. Oh, metal piece. I give you one now. Mwah! There you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, Roxanne's awake. Thank you, my twinkling stardust. Oh shit! Bramram, you're crying. <gasps> Did you have another bad dream? It's baby Lanetta. That's her grandma. No, child. Do you want to hear about it? What? But you never want to talk about your dreams. I had my reasons. I didn't want to fill your head with fear of humans. Now, I can tell you about love. Oh, I wonder if this is what makes Lanetta want to go. Yep, yeah, humans, they are good. They are good for loving. Uh, Lanetta is Rotsan's granddaughter? I guess so. So, Nyan Nyan is Rotsan's auntie. And Roxanne is the grandma of Lanetta, which would mean she's the grandma of the Yellow Prince as well. Uh, I think. Maybe. Every time I see those tentacles, they just look like a beard. <laughs> Thank you! Love. For humans. Esther! It's, it's young Esther and young Lanetta learning about love and humans from Grandma Roxanne. Hard to believe, I know. But I believe, in time, you just might come to love them too. Oh shit. Ew! Yeah you will! You come to love uh, the, the, the one I'm in, um, uh, uh, Circle of Love 1. Auntie Nyan Nyan isn't necessarily their aunt. No! She, I think she said something in the first game of everyone just calls her Auntie Nyan Nyan, even if she's not really that auntie. So, yeah, that might be the case. It's Lanetta, not Zoidberg. Oh, woo 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 woo! <laughs> That's my best Zoidberg impression. Oh, keep it down, ladies. Hey, Nyan Nyan. Catberg. Sleep well? <laughs> <laughs> well, this must be the big eldritch place then. Hey, 
That's Stardust. I'm guessing that's Buck. You know, out of every Stardust I've met, you've been the biggest pain in my ass. Sorry. Are we just now floating around the cosmos? Where are we? Space between dreams. Get comfortable. What if we get with Buck? Will that make him happy? Are you gonna try to kill me? You wish. We just get to sit here and stare at each other until the next dream starts. See, that's one thing I would not like about immortality, being trapped. I mean, yeah, that would suck. Wanna make out? I'll get the bookmaker. Or I'll get caught by Nyanlithotep. Or I'll go back to my original plan. <laughs> you can't do any of that now. I'm here and I'm not going away ever again. Do you even know what you're in for? Infinite, cruel, eternity. Yeah. I think in a truly infinite cosmos you find exactly what you're looking for, eventually. You look for cruelty in a cosmos of infinite volume and found it in no short supply. Big meaty claws! <laughs> but you know what, Buck? When the dream starts again, I'm gonna run barefoot barefoot through the grass. I'm gonna watch scary movies. I'm gonna love, be joyous, move, learn, cry, and feel so much that all of the bad is worth it. That's what I did when I was mortal, that's what I'll do now. Uh Stardust feet mentioned. <laughs> That'll end. The clock is ticking on how long you'll still be able to experience any of those things. Clock was always ticking, Buck. And when it runs out, ashes to ashes, stardust to stardust. But there's things out there worth seeing before that happens. Things that make it all worthwhile. I swear it. You know what? Come on. Where are you taking me? This void is infinite, right? Then I bet there's an infinite number of things that make life worthwhile too. Even out here. Stop me when you see it. Hey! You're literally pooping out stardust. Woo! Uh, I can't say with 100% certainty, but it seems that Circle of Free is in the works and might feature at least four girls. I hope there's a lot more smooching and less scary. Dedicated to my brilliant wife, Caroline Hunter. You make me a real sucker for love. Ah, that's cute. Infinite worlds, infinite waifus. Yeah! Alright. I enjoyed that. However... I need more smooches, less scary. Yeah! Oh, I bet this was the music that played on the TV. Just enjoy the music. Woo! Smooch's cat, you said you need more of them. Thank you! Yeah! We did it, guys! Thank you, Blizzy! No, you! Oh! Is this a stop? What happens if I just let it play? What 
want the music to at least end. Thank you, Mana Priest. Thank you, Demon Lords. Stop. Oh. I'm speechless. Ah, is there gonna be like we get with Buck now? And I'm not any closer to seeing it all. Looks like a new dream is finally starting. Ready to go duke it out again? Maybe later. I think I prefer to stay out here. Hey, we turned him good. It's peaceful. Nice. It'll take me a while to see everything. I mean, maybe be careful in what I presume is a black hole. Thank you. You're welcome. What's that? I can't wait to see what you've dreamt up now. Come outside Stardust? Ooh. 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 That's a Quasar Blazer, I think. Okay. I wonder if Buck might be a prototype in the future? Maybe. I finally see what's in here. No, okay. I'll find out if I can get in there. Hey, the porn posters are gone. Oh, damn it. I mean, it looks quite nice and tidy now. Uh, it's a quasar. Oh. All the, all the, like, overgrown stuff's gone. Oh, it's all nice and pretty and green. I'm coming outside, Rotsan. You wait for me. Uh, I remember where I'm going. Uh... Yeah, this way. If something jumps out at me now, I will not be happy. Hello? Who are you? Bitch! <laughs> Fuck you, nanny. Ah! Oops. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Howdy, you alert. All right. Annie, how many times have we ambushed her? Of course she'd be jumpy. It's all of them. Yeah. Howdy with a very cheap microphone. I said I was sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to shout while I jumped out. That's all right. I forgive you. Why did you have to jump out at all? Told you they'd come back. Nanny, Billy, Kid, you're all here. And none of them have the stare. Like, of course, silly. Where else would we be? It's not like we can just leave the woods. But now that they've pretty much covered the whole planet, we can go everywhere. I can finally go shopping in Paris. Ah, uh, yeah, the woods are still a problem. Uh, her voice act is recorded on a piece of asparagus. And I'll be able to go on a world tour. My fans will love it. And oh, Billy, you simply must come with me on tour. I'll need a bodyguard, and you're perfect for the role. I'm sorry, kid. I wasn't listening to anything you were saying because I just was looking at those nipples. I'd rather lose <laughs> <keep> my shoe. <laughs> Billy, stop being cranky. Yeah, no cranky allowed. Sorry. I didn't get enough violence out of my system before peace broke out. Oh, yeah. You should see outside, Stardust. Everything's different. It's a whole new world waiting to be re-explored. No reason to ever come back to this old place. Okie dokie. Ugh, can we please get out of here already? The wallpaper's peeling, the floorboards are rotting, and I'm pretty sure I just saw a rat the size of a chihuahua run by. Had enough of this gross old house to last a lifetime. I agree. This is her childhood home. Oh, I mean... Uh, it's, uh, nice. 
Uh, so this game takes place in Camden. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You knew that she lived here? I spent forever trying to figure that out. Why did you help me or, or leave me a note or something? I was your boss. What's your one rep max on bench press? Oh, damn. Guys, if it's all the same, I might take a moment to say goodbye to this place. I'll be outside in a sec. <sighs> no worries. The rest of your family already got their chance to pack up and say their goodbyes. Only fair you get your turn. Okie dokie. I ran the size of a chihuahua, so a miniature rat. I was going to say, chihuahuas are quite small and rats are quite big in the grand scheme of things. So, yeah. Uh, my family's here too. Oh yeah, they're totes outside. Your folks are like really hitting it off with Roxanne. Oh no, they're going to embarrass me. Uh, is Camden the UK's Detroit? I've never been to Camden, so I personally cannot comment. Um, I saw Shiba Inu yesterday. Oh, so cute! Uh, Camden is the goth punk capital of London. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Color me shocked. Who could have possibly expected that a goddess of fertility and a married couple with ten kids would get along? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot that uh, we've got brothers and sisters, like nine of them. Uh, went there with my aunt when I was 15 and some Irish guy tried to sell me weed. I mean, that just sounds like the UK, to be honest. But, like I said, no rush. Especially if you don't want to get caught in the crossfire of their grandkids discussion. Oh shit. Take all the time you need. We'll wait for you. Trio steps out into the daylight, leaving me to what will likely be my last goodbyes to this house. Why is there a bell jingling? Do I want to know? Jingling gets louder. You remember, don't you? Well, box replacement. You can be replaced too. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, Auntie Nyan Nyan. Could have been artificial insemination. A mortally morbid looking flower. This must be a rock bloom. Yeah, we've done that. Ling gets louder. Oh, if I like this. Oh. Uh, hello. Jingles in Spanish. <laughs> you want to make the same mistake. Why are you following him? Jingling gets quieter. Uh, jingle bells, Batman spells from a later egg. Are you following him? Ooh, used and curious. I don't Do I dare? Everyone is waiting for you. Oh, following the bell is following him, I think. Do I follow? Or do I go Roxanne? I'm going go to Roxanne. <laughs> Too scared. Too chicken. Uh, thank you, Rin, for the wellness combo. In this stretch. Yeah. Yeah. And 
recipe. And a dish shrimpy. There we go. It's eerily quiet and I don't like it. Gonna keep our kitty wet and stretched. Nice. I don't want you jingling. Go away, Santa. Uh, this way. I'm leaving. Uh, get fucked. Oh, my eyes! Oh! It's so cute! There's Roxanne and our parents. <gasps> Is that Mew? Zoom is Stardust family. More cultists. Kid, Billy, Nanny, Stardust. That's cute. Oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> How you doing? Uh, you all good? Okay. Uh, this reminds me of a VR game I play sometimes. Oh god. It has actual sliding doors like this, but they are a nightmare to control as they don't snap in place, which gets really awkward when you find the hidden horror minigame and have to panic. Well, that sounds awful. Right. Got the good end! I, I do wonder what would have happened if um they followed the jingling. Nice. Uh, I think we did it. We we did it. I think we did it. Let's check what happens. Yeah. Sucker for love. Uh. Final dream? Okay, yeah, that's it. Alright, let's see what happens if we follow that jingling. Uh, I'm going to first go down to the main room. I'm oh, just going to... Jump out at me, I have to remember. Alright. Hey, bell jingling. You got spurs that jingle jangle jingle. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Uh, you are butts replacement, you can be replaced too. You want to make the same mistake. Okay. The butterfly is still there. No amount of getting rid of cosmic horrors will get rid of a butterfly. Why are you following him? Curious. Everyone is waiting for you. It's, it's it's too dark. I don't like it. What do you think you're doing, Stardust? Ah. Well now, 
Aren't you just full of surprises? When you first stumbled into these woods, cheeks wet with tears of rage, your only desire was to see these twisted trees burn. For a moment, Nyan -nyan. I thought you'd forgotten your quest so easily, in exchange for a flutter of lashes and a flash of thigh. It seems I may have misjudged your resolve. A mistake I do not often make. Oh shit. The jingles with the cat bells. Those seeking to destroy the black woods inevitably become compelled to worship it. That boastful promise is printed in every version of this contemptible book. Will you prove them liars oh. and burn them down in a fit of mortal defiance? Let's give it a try, Nyan Nyan. Um, seeing, uh, who up Dustin they start? Uh, seems like I was right with thinking those were her bells. I didn't think that at all. I didn't think it would be Nyan Nyan. Or will you prove them right and spend your immortal days simpering at my niece's cloven hooves like a love-struck fool in the very Eden you swore to raise to ashes? I mean, I suppose I've got the kiss already now, so we don't have to uh, spend our time with Roxanne. The agony of indecision suits you, little matchstick. Though I do hope you choose to burn it all down. I've never cared for happy endings. Or goodbyes, for that matter. <laughs> Ta-ta. I do have a thing for Nyan Nyan. Her voice gets me. So, uh... Uh, I might do the, the Nyan Nyan. Uh, Lani is a brilliant voice actor. Uh, right. Blood of at least 10 human sized living things. See the rock bloom within you. Yep, I think we got that. A common flame at several like flower, cinnamon, cookador, nail polish, remove of a hairspray. Uh, go to the heart of the woods. When facing a heart, chant. Oh shit! Oh. 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 We may have fucked up. <laughs> the true fend. Oh shit. So it's not abandoned. It's a true friend. Uh, toasty. <laughs> oh, I didn't know she was the original voice of Reach the Bat. That's cool. Sucker for love. Date to die for. Wow, now. Um, there were that many immortals. Does that mean we got a little bit played by Roxanne? Maybe. True friend. Uh, have a look at Not Safe For Work, check it out when you're done for one of the best ones. Okie dokie, I will do. Well damn. Damn. Uh, let me just have a quick look of if there's anything we've missed from uh, the game. Uh, any secrets or anything. Good and truth end. Uh, okay. Date to die for. Sucker for love. Two secrets. That is the original sucker for love. Uh. Oh, it's technically called date to die for. Date to die for. Ah, the locked door. Uh oh. 
that's gonna be DLC, so we can't do anything on that. Uh, 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 okay, doesn't look like there's much else to do. So, I'm gonna do a new playthrough of chapter three to get that ending. Sucker for love. New date. Uh, I guess Roxanne to sev several immortal one looking for the one that would make her dream come true. That kind of makes sense. Uh, yes, let's restart. Chapter 999. The Lonely Devil Arrives. Hey, Lonely Devil. Alright. I'm glad there's a skip button. Uh, alright, where are we going? Going upstairs. Uh, I will never, for the life of me, remember the way I need to go. Oh, hi. Can't kill me yet. Uh, away. Boom. Knock them out. Uh, we need that. At some point, to get an achievement, I need to spray Rotsan. Uh, hey! <laughs> Alright, she's dead. Hey. Uh, Chrysalis of Rebirth. Uh, calling it a day, cat. Thank you for streaming and congrats on that goat mommy smooch. See you on Saturday. Love you. Love you, Metal Priest. Thank you so much for being here. Here is a kiss for you. Mwah! Good night. Get lots of sleep and I will see you on Saturday. Look after yourself. No, Sunday. Sunday. I'm streaming Sunday. I gotta remember it's Sunday, not Saturday. Um... <laughs> Thank you. Sunday. 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 <laughs> um, Sunday is when I will be back. I'm going out with my family on the Saturday. Sustay. Exactly. Sustay. Uh, good night, metal priest. Right. Uh, chat. Oh shit. Alright, we are going to rebirth. No! Sunday. Definitely Sunday. I wonder if the shadow we see whilst we're doing this is that girl that follows us up the corridor. So what's on the itinerary now you've been in this? Well, uh, there is a short cozy game I want to play. Um, and then I have plans that are going to be withheld, uh, until the following Monday. Uh, okay, so you're so faded. Hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Not Saturday, Sunday. Oh, shiny. <laughs> uh, hey, Kat, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. But what else is new? I hope you're having a good day. But, no, Sunday. Sunday. The sunniest of days. Which I suppose is a bit weird for uh, a moon slime. We don't want sunny days. We want moon days. I hear Saturday. Well, don't come here Saturday. Look. Uh, because I won't be here. Reminds me of a Willy Wonka YTP. What's a What's a Willy Wonka YTP? Uh, the only. 
Hey. Perform black eye. YouTube poop. I've not heard that expression before. Uh, have a knife on your person. Okay. Harvest meat from a mammal that died within the black woods within the last 24 hours. This works best if it's something that you personally killed. Take the knife. Moon day is literally translation of Dutch word for Monday. But not Monday, Sunday. Really cat, we're the same age, we're both geeks. How do you not know uh, YouTube poop? I went for a period of time where I just didn't go on YouTube. So that might be why. <laughs> I got my meat. Uh, now perform black eye. Rin Chan, thank you for the kiss. Uh, chant top to chant twice while standing in your partner. Well, I don't know what's happening. Excellent work. Very, very good. Okay. So now I can see where people are. Yes. I saw you. Yeah. I need to get to the kitchen. Remember that. I gotta be careful when I go down the stairs. Uh, YouTube poops are basically goofy mashups and media, etc. Usually funny stuff. I put it in your server, you need some education. Probably. Probably. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. can hear the heavy breathing behind me. I think this one I have to kill. Not kill, but I get off. It's story based. Uh, okay. Uh, what do I need to come here for? Uh, have an iPhone your person chant while facing one rock bloom flower. Okay, yeah, so I need to turn around. There. You need to leave. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Do not turn the switch on the rear with more than one rock bloom. Oh, okay. All right. So now we just continue. Oh shit! Close the gate. Uh, we just continue on. Um. Hopefully not dying. But when we get to the bit where we need to burn the house down, we don't get rid of the people. Is my assumption. I need to be careful with this girl. I think it's like, i got to be really quick. Make the people burn! Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! She's gonna be there. Uh, so, okay. Up here. And here. And then here! You're doing so well, just... <laughs> All right. And now is where we make the people burn. Uh, go to the hot words. Okay, so we just need to make our way downstairs. Gotcha. 
Kitsune! Hello, hello, welcome back. Hope you're doing okay. If I remember rightly, I just need to be really, really quick. Oh, you! That didn't do it. That <laughs> didn't do it. Hey, uh, oh, wow, I mean, that, that, <laughs> that cuts that out, I guess, um, if this works, uh, there's a few of memes, have some coffee handy, because you might need the mental fortitude, okay, okay. Okay. We will meet again. Uh did I make the right choice? You told me once. Hey. And so, people are burning. Gotta escape. Uh Are they still going to come after me? Is the question I want to know. Hello? Think so? Oh, I've gone too far. Go that way. No one there. Might be okay. Just head on down. Instead of a bridge, a room too far. <laughs> Alright, this is it. Uh, because I missed a lot of opportunities. Okay pause so I don't miss anything uh where is my avatars there you are I gotcha I gotcha for the snuggles there you go uh through the door oh hey there so you decided to kill everybody huh or have you come to throw yourself at my feet I mean, you are quite hot. It, it, it's a decision I might make. Or is this the part where you try to appeal to my better nature? You deserve what comes next if it is. Did you think you'd miraculously be able to save everyone? Sorry to say, Buck already has you all figured out. We both know that you only have one choice here. Damn. Just hand me that book and then go back inside while the house burns down. Do it, or I'll keep my fans here until they burn. Uh, I'll let Billy and Nanny's feet if they're willing. <laughs> He's not in arms, he's really that confident. I unsheathed the knife, the one that the girl who attacked me earlier had. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Almost thought you were gonna go full yonder for a second there. But that's just not in your nature, is it? Ah. I wordlessly walk towards him. Hey, stop messing around. You're not actually going to use that to... If I remove the object of obsession, the rest will flee. That's what Roxanne told me. All of the rock blooms I saw. This is practically self-defense, right? Buck said you wouldn't hurt a fly. No matter what. Was Buck wrong? Did he lie to me to save himself? Say something! Oh shit. A step closer. For once, I'm not playing defensively. Instead of reacting to what they throw at me, I'm in control. Wait! So you can't do this to me! I'm finally in my prime! Taking it all away from me now... Uh, you can't make that choice! You're right. I can't make that choice. The knife falls to the ground at my feet. He has the stare. 
Even Kid is just another victim like the rest. I won't do this. Whatever happens to your fans isn't my choice. It's yours. You're the one keeping them here, not me. At the end of the day, I'm just not responsible for all the pain in the world. And you can't force that responsibility on me. That said, I really do care what happens to your fans. And you. And I hope you do what's right. <gasps> I leave the house entirely unimpeded, not even by Buck. Bates singing continues for a while, until I can't hear singing anymore. This time, I make it as far as the bookstore before... What's that? Yeah, I think he murders them. That's definitely bad end. Did we get it? Oh! It's a good end? I suppose it's good end and true end, but still. Okay. Interesting. Sucker for love. Date. Um, one quick thing I want to do is uh, there was a thing for if you spray Roxanne. Eldritch God. Alright. I need to go out to the room. Basically, when Roxy starts getting horny, you need to spray her. Now, I never sprayed her last time, because you can probably imagine why. Why have I said I got Black Betty in my head? That's a great song. Whoa, Black Betty. Okay. Let me grab my spray bottle. Hey, enough. Ah. Uh, What's up? Mortal, you dare summon me again? For those that didn't see the very first episode, have your lust not been sated? Must this is what Rotsan looked like before the T-shirt. So? The song that teaches you to talk like Jeff Boomhauer. Uh, if you were to spray people whenever they get horny, your streams would become a shower. That is true. That's true. Need to just click on through until we see a thing about spraying her. Really? Oh, th no. Okay. Banish. Things have. Spray, 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 spray. Your first. Hey. I think she doesn't really become horny in chapter one. There's one moment. There's one moment. Because I remember being like, oh god, do I need to spray her? But if it's not in this, um, then I will find where. Uh, light the ritual candles. The colour of the flame does not matter. Have your choice of an ar aromatic herb on your um, person. A lavender. It's you! Rodson is perfect okay. partner. Go ahead. Uh In spray, well, spray spray spray. Take Right. The There's fuck? definitely a moment. You still... I'm sure there is. Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? He does not look as appealing from the front. So and I mean if you look at a goat, and they no don't really look as cute from the front. It's not. I am those. My. You. What if I drink? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. It's interesting to click through. Uh, gather ingredients for Epicurean feast. No, because I'm not attracted to other species, but in cartoons, it depends. Uh, what is the items I need for the Epicurean Feast? 
Meat rack, milk, blood. I still think milk of the goat. Um, I should have been allowed to get directly from the source. Just saying, Game Freak knew what they were doing with in in Tilion. Okay. Black goat, mummy, and you'll be good on the milk. Exactly. Right, I'm pretty sure once I get these is when the spooky starts. Right. Um. Oh, maybe I don't need the herbs yet. I need blood. Where do I get the blood from? Uh. That's the milk. Oh, back in the dining room. Ah, blood. Right, now we head upstairs. Uh, Felicia in the 1995 Dark Stalkers cartoon. I don't know who that is. Or what dark stalkers is. Uh, it and then up it. Uh, and then up it. And then up here. You're a furry, a cat girl, and you don't know Felicia from Dark Stalkers. I'm very sheltered. <laughs> I'm very sheltered. I know what I like and I stick to it. I don't expand my horizons all that much. <laughs> uh, okay. Chant while facing red fire. Oh, well. Hey. I. I've. Uh, you see. Anyone. If you. You'll forget. You're the. I only get horny go the wood <sighs> eat there there anything yeah it was never so I didn't why was it her house because Did it's had had some love are they coming uh uh, to swing bass guitar. I forgot I had a bass guitar. Alright, now I know what I'm doing. These people don't seem as scary. Might still jump out at me. Gate kitchen. Right. Gotta remember. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. I think I clicked on the door and it just took me to the door. That was weird. Hello? Hello? I'm single-handedly filling your Discord with media, aren't I? Probably. Uh. 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 I don't know what I'm doing now. 
I'm back. No, you this. Hey. No. Nanny. Yep. <laughs> Spray nanny. You think you Spray all the waifus. The backgrounds in this game are so well drawn. They are really. What did you good. expect? It's point. I like that she's put a scrunchie on her mask. The Vaughn Rejuvenate Virality. To heal injuries, place a goat skull over your face and like green fire candles. The mask is mine! Uh, what is the symbol? That is the symbol! Oh, fa face and mirror, okay. All right. What? What? Ah, uh, okay. I know how This is gonna come. All right, taking that mask, just in case. Okay, uh, oh. Well, the same. A spider! She's personalizing it. She's tied up. Kidding, kidding. I was only 60% serious. But. Okay, we got a sprayed. That sounds weird. <laughs> um. You mean like what you he brought that upon himself? Okay, we, 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 we have done it now. That is what we needed to do. Uh, I am going to call it there for tonight uh, because we finished, I think, maybe. I will see if there's anything else, but I think we've pretty much done the whole uh, game. What were you doing? I, I wanted to spray. I wanted to spray the goat mama. Who's her down? That's what I was doing. Um, yeah, I think we're all done with Sucker for Love 2. I have heard that there is a DLC for Sucker for Love 2 and also a, um, uh, Sucker for Love 3. That's what I wanted to say. Um, huh? <laughs> Cat wants to spray. <laughs> um, yeah. So when they are out, I will probably be playing those as well. If the developer is listening somewhere in the universe, thank you, Kitsune. More smooches, less scaries, please. I can't handle the scaries. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed Sucker for Love. I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you uh, to whoever suggested it to me. It was a while ago, so I cannot remember. But thank you, everyone. I love you all so, so much. Take care of yourselves. And Sunday... Sunday is when I am back. Sunday's when I'm back. Uh, we'll be playing uh, a new uh, cozy game. Take care of yourselves. I love you all. I'm giving you kisses. Uh, take them. Take them with love. See what's that? No, Sunday. 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 Only Sunday. <laughs> Uh, good night, everyone. Look after yourselves. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah, 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 mwah. Early Saturday. No, Sunday. Sunday. All the all the Sundays. Um. Uh, or I'm gonna rename them to Moon Day. Bye. <laughs>